cancer is the number one cause of death by disease among children, according to the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation. Today, barbers in Rochester shaved some heads for a good cause at Whistle Binkies on the Lake. KIMT News 3's Jeremy Wall takes us to the St. Baldrick's Buzz for a Cure. Childhood cancer research is chronically underfunded, so the majority of money, uh, federal money, goes to adult cancer research. My boss's son is a childhood cancer survivor. This morning, people in the Med City came out to have their heads buzzed to raise money for childhood cancer research. It's part of St. Baldrick's Buzz for a Cure. The foundation has been supporting childhood cancer research since 2005. The St. Baldrick's Foundation is a, a foundation that raises money for childhood cancer. And they do that by having people shave their head um, and raise money from their friends, family uh, for these, uh, this event. One of the participants was Laura Allen, a veteran when it comes to having her head shaved. I did this once about seven years ago, um, and it was a good experience then. It kind of got me over my fear of having short hair, so I'm not too worried about having a bald head again. Do you plan to shave your head again in the future? Possibly. I'm not against it, yeah. <laughs> Although the fundraiser didn't bring big crowds, that didn't stop Eric Vanderheiden from teaming up with his daughter to show their support. We've been doing this as a family since 2017. This is our sixth year, um, and overall our family's raised over $14,000 um, doing this. Um, my wife used to be a pediatric nurse, um, worked with kids with cancer, um, and so she uh, she had lots of experience in, in seeing the after effects and how it impacts families and obviously patients. And so. Um, it's, uh, we know it's for a good cause. According to the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation, only 4% of the money the government spends annually on cancer research goes towards treating childhood cancer. The proceeds from Buzz for a Cure will go towards advancing treatment options and minimizing long-term effects for kids as they go into adulthood. St. Baldrick's raised over $8,000 today, and I'm learning they plan to come back here and do the fundraiser again next year. In Rochester, Jeremy Wall, KIMT News 3. Anyone who couldn't make it today that's still interested in donating can head to KIMT.com. We'll have a link attached to this article.